What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I'm Ruthless. Got Mark Levin, you know what I'm saying, on a Trump indictment. Uh, <clears throat> don't know who Mark Levin is. Still learning, you know what I'm saying, who a lot of these people are still learning about politics, still learning about everything. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Still learning. Facts. Let's get in the video. Make sure y'all like it up. If we check in now with the great one. I call him the great one. He's the host of Life, Liberty, okay. Levin. Weeknights, uh, weekend Sunday at 9 p.m. Top show on the network. The great one, Mark Levin. Mark, I'll just hand it to you. I know you got a lot to say. President Trump is 76 years old. If the Department of Justice gets his way, he will die in federal. Huh? This, is this new? Yeah. Oh. So what? Is he, He's 77 now. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think there was like five, six days ago. Oh. I know you got a lot to say. President Trump is 76 years old. If the Department of Justice gets his way, he will die in federal prison. Just by one of these counts, conspiracy to obstruct justice, which has a 20-year maximum sentence. This is a disgusting, disgusting uh, mark on American history for the future to come by these bandits in the White House, by the Democrat Party that don't play fair anymore. They don't want to just win elections. They want to take control of this country. They want one party rule. And they have used the Department of Justice and the FBI to get what they want. Merrick Garland is a mob lawyer. That's what he is. Jack Reed is a rogue Soviet-style prosecutor. The Presidential Records Act is not a criminal statute, and it was never intended to be. The Espionage Act of 1917 was passed under Woodrow Wilson, another corrupt president. Woodrow Wilson used it to go after his adversaries, and they imprisoned 2,000 people. So I suppose over there at the Department of Injustice, and this clown prosecutor spent a lot of time at The Hague, they probably figured these laws could be used to try and entrap Trump. All these obstruction issues, that they claim, where the former Attorney General, Bill Barr, comes up here and bloviates about it, and all the formers coming on talking about obstruction. They have them on obstruction. There'd be no obstruction issue of any kind, not even in anybody's imagination, had they not <laughs> criminalized this case. This is a document case. A document case. That's what everybody's saying. A president of the United States or a former president faces 100 years in federal prison? Is this some kind of a sick joke on the American people? Joe Biden says he never told them what to do. Joe Biden had to sign off on that's becoming a National Archives case to have it go to the Department of Justice. Who does he think he's lying to? The American people? This is a guy that's got documents from the time he was in the U.S. Senate, for God's sakes, in his garage. I don't want to hear from the legal analysts the technicalities about false statements and obstruction. This should never have been a criminal case. Willful retention of documents. Well, what's the unwillful retention of documents mean? They're throwing all these process crimes and all these crimes to grow out of the criminal investigation against Trump. What did he do with the documents? Did he sell them to the enemy? No. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Hey, he going off. He definitely going off. He talking, he talking, he talking, he's spitting his facts. He going off right what now. What did he do with the documents? Did he sell them to the enemy? No. That's why we have an espionage act. Not the trick of a president. You know, you know who Mark Levin remind me of? Uh, you ever seen that Christmas movie? Uh, the Christmas, it's a Christmas movie about the lights. Uh... Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm pretty sure people are going to be commenting. Um, it was a Christmas movie, and it was about his lights. Who had the best lights on the house. Deck the Halls. You ever seen Deck the Halls? Oh, yeah, with the... Uh... Shit, I forget the name. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Deck the Halls. Oh, shit. I'm going to show you the dude. Just the way he yelling and everything. This dude right here. Yeah. Yeah, he reminds he reminds me of this dude right here, y'all. On deck the halls. That's why that's why I keep on like which is which is not funny. It's just it, uh, he's speaking he's speaking, he facts. he's speaking facts. Against Trump. What did he do with the documents? Did he sell them to the enemy? 
No, that's why we have an espionage act, not to trick up a president. What did he do? Did he burn them all? No, the government has all the documents back. So there is no violation of the Presidential Records Act at this point. But they throw the book at him. They go after his attorneys. They make them testify. They're attorneys under the crime fraud exemption to attorney-client privilege. That means he didn't have due process. His own lawyers were being subjected to interrogations. And they had hundreds of in-person people testifying in front of grand juries. Thousands of collections of documents for what? For what? And they indict him today? They indict him today in Miami? All of a sudden it's in Miami? All of a sudden we have a Florida grand jury? Because the moron in Washington figured out that there are venue issues that could lose him his case. This mm. guy, this prosecutor, he lost eight to zero in the U.S. Supreme Court when they overturned the conviction of the former governor of Virginia because this jerk took a statute and expanded it. A jury in North Carolina wouldn't convict John Edwards because this jerk took a campaign statute and expanded it. And he's taken this case and he's undermining the country and he's interfering with a presidential election. And let me be clear, as Jarrett said, the Attorney General of the United States made this final decision. This is not the independent counsel statute. This is a special counsel appointed by the Attorney General under a Department of Justice regulation. This Attorney General, who pretends he's Helen Keller, he made the decision to indict the former president, and they made the decision to interfere in this election. You want to talk about an insurrection? This is an insurrection. And that's exactly what's going on here. Let me go on. Joe Biden is the crookedest crook that's ever been in the Oval Office. Everywhere we look, there's a predicate for a special counsel. They won't appoint a special counsel, even though it's compelled under the law in which they appointed this special counsel. And, and we right. seen that yesterday on the movie. Yeah. You're supposed to appoint a special counsel against your political opponent. You're supposed to appoint one in the case of Biden. 20 shell corporations, $10 million coming from the communist Chinese military, spread out among the family. No businesses to support this. Endless meetings. I Endless my meetings with, with, Biden's, uh, with Hunter Biden's business partners. Bob Alinsky, who ties Joe Biden to the crimes. Mr. Big, Mr. 10%. And what does Biden say? Well, then where's the money? He's asking us, come and catch me if you can. The idea that this man is, isn't under a criminal investigation. That's what I'm saying. So, like, regardless, like, of what's, like, with this, with this whole thing, what's going on with Joe Biden and his son? Oh, like, the whole thing. That's what I'm Biden, saying. Like, yeah, what? They're worried about Trump, and he's not even like. I don't know. Because they know he'll win, I think. Yeah, I, I feel like that's what it is. Like he, they know that he's gonna, he's gonna win. Yeah. So they're scared of that. Facts. And that they criminalized that damn document case to go after Donald Trump is sickening. And I would say this to our fellow Americans. Don't be bamboozled by these cable channels and these fools who come on and tell you, well, he's not above the law. Are you kidding me? Democrat Attorney General in New York, Democrat Prosecutor in Manhattan, Democrat Prosecutor in Atlanta, Democrat Attorney General in Washington, D.C. What do you mean he's not above the law? There is no law. What's going on here is a disgusting disgrace. It is war on Trump. It is war on the Republican Party, and it is a war on the Republic. The radical left is doing what the radical left does while Damn. they cover up for Biden the way they covered up for Hillary. If Donald Trump is to be charged like this, Hillary Clinton should have been charged with 10,000 counts of obstruction because that's how many emails she destroyed. And five oh, shit. counts of destroying cell phones because that's she destroyed like all those. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Stay tuned for the next video. Hillary is gonna be speaking. Yeah.
We got to we got to we got to make sure y'all stay tuned for that too. She destroyed and five counts of destroying cell phones because that's how many cell phones they destroyed. I'm done and I'm sick of it. What you said, you know, Mark, many years ago you said to me and you said he's hot. You can see it on his head. <laughs> yeah. He's hot. You know, you know when somebody pissed off and they just look down like, ooh. Yeah. I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? One of your books, we're in a post-constitutional America. And what you're describing here, when you said they are the ones that are the, uh, that are abusing the power, that they've criminalized uh, political differences, that they've weaponized the Justice Department, that's what you're saying. This, they, they love the term insurrection, and you're saying that's them. They're not abiding by the law. They're not abiding by the principle of equal justice or equal application of, of our laws. Am I hearing you right? You're hearing me right, and let me say this. Today, what is today's date? June 8th? June 8th is the day of insurrection, not January 6th. A weaponized U.S. attorney, a weaponized attorney general of the United States have unleashed the full force of the United States government against a former president, the leading Republican nominee to take on the existing president. We have never seen anything like this in the United States. We saw it under Stalin. We've seen it in other uh, autocracies, Marxist regimes, fascist regimes, the third world. But they have taken the United States of America and they have dragged us into a hellhole. This is embarrassing, it's humiliating. And I'm gonna tell you something. There are tens of millions of us you have crossed the Rubicon twice, which has never been done. And we will never forgive you. Never, ever. And that's the bottom line. I'm done. Mark Levin, thank you. Put on my glasses. What is he doing with these phones? And make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button. Let me know y'all thoughts. I think it's all crazy that Joe Biden had the history that he's had. Hillary has the history that she's had. Actually destroying things and have you know what I'm saying covering up. And now nobody's saying anything. Um, it's because I really think that they know that he's going to win. That's definitely what it is. Because there's no. It's way. a lot of. We we first of all we live in a state where there's hella Republicans. Anyways, we live in Indiana. Um, right? It's it's hella Republican, especially where we live at. Yeah. Uh, we go to Walmart. Best believe you're gonna see somebody with something Trump on. Yeah. And right there just lets you know that regardless you see one, one or two people, that regardless, yeah. it's a lot of Trump supporters out there. And this is every damn near every time we go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So so I feel like that's that's just I mean it's it's, it's strong. I mean it's I feel like that's and and it's it's it's, it's firing them Trump supporters up. To it's where it's like, like okay, it's definitely firing them up. It's not pushing them away. It's definitely yeah. bringing them in more. Closer. Facts. Definitely make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe button. More videos will be dropped. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the Hillary drop that will be dropped in about 30, 45 minutes. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Catch y'all next one.